on my screen you'll see that I have a GB roads layer. So this is roads in Great Britain. It's the major roads in Great Britain. And if I zoom in to an area in the east of England and then go to the selection toolbar, which you can spot easily because of the big yellow patches. And there's a number of different selection tools. I'm clicking on a drop down here to select features just by clicking with the pointer. And if I click on a major road, click and drag, we can see if I increase the thickness of the road, we can see this more easily. We can see that I can select the road and different segments get selected. So this is very common with road data. The road might be comprised of loads of different segments. And if you want to select all of one road, so for example, the motorway around London, if I zoom in further, the M25 orbital motorway, if I click here, it's only going to select a segment. So you could hold down shift and then select more segments. But when you do that, you end up getting other bits of roads that you don't want. So this is a kind of situation where selecting using an expression is much better and you won't make mistakes. So I'll deselect features here and then I'll go to the button, which is select features by expression. If you don't see it, it might be because your tools for selecting by expressions are hidden in the sub menu. So if I click on the drop down here, I go to select features by expression. And then what I'm going to do is in this select by expression dialog, I'm going to go to fields and values in the middle part, because what that does is it lists all the columns in our data set. And I know in my data set, in the road classification number column, that's where the road name is. So like M25 or A1, as the, as the roads are named in Great Britain. So I can double click road classification number equals, if I hit all unique, because I've got this selected, I've got road classification number selected, hitting all unique will list all the road names in that column in my data set. And then I can just search for M25. And once it's there, I can double click it. And the expression here is road classification number, because that's my column name, equals M25. It's always best to follow the method I use rather than typing in. You can just type this in, but it's easy to make mistakes. Once you've done that, you can click select features. And if I close it and then zoom to the select feature, we can see it selected everything in the M25. There's a little bit of the M25 crossing the Thames estuary that's actually not the M25, it's still an A road. So that's how you can select by an expression and it's particularly useful if you've got a data set with common features that are split into different, sunk, uh, different chunks. If I did want to then export this as a separate new layer, I could right click and go to export and save these selected features as a, as a new layer. But the key thing to remember here is you can select using expressions and it's in the selection toolbar. If it's not immediately obvious, just click the drop down and use select features by expression.